So, Lou, we're uh, we're doing our Ford Fiesta mission, dude. That is so cool. Is that great? <laughs> I'm so glad I got a chance to go on this. Uh, you guys saw him. Do you remember what video? I'm not even going to tell you. What video was Lou in? He was only in one so far, but he's going to be in many more to come. Uh, just let me know in the comment section. And, uh, Lou, where are we going? You want to tell him? Uh, we're going down to Dana Point. Going to go check out some whales. We're going to look at a mammal <laughs> bigger than us. Can you believe that? And bigger that's than what us. I need. I need to feel skinny for once. Uh, and this is kind of also an apology video because when about, I think last year when Shark Week was happening, yeah, I cooked a shark on the show and people got offended. Did you really? Yeah. I, I haven't seen that one. Oh, dude, they were angry. So we're going oh, to that's observe. Silly. I'm not going to cook. Shark's awesome. I'm not going to cook with whale, I promise. We're just going to we're just going to observe. So uh, say a little prayer and let's see if we can capture some good footage today. Oh man, I hope so. So you're a big fan of Dana Point. Whoops. I love Dana Point. Dana yeah. Point is uh, a jewel on the southern, or on the west coast. Yes it is. Yeah. And it's going to be a windy video, so get over it. I want everybody to know that. You're going to I'm not going to sit here and try and block the microphone so you don't hear we're gonna be on a boat. I'll try to prevent it. But uh, so you you hang out here a lot. Your wife and I have come yes. down here. Yes, we love to go up on the hillside over here at the Bluff Park, and uh, they have summer concerts there on Sunday afternoons at Bluff Park. Yeah, and all the locals come out, and the locals are just fantastic people. Wow. They uh, they dance. Well, we dance. Kind too. of a secret location because it's free to the public, but it's kind of locals only type thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. As that's the catamaran we're going on. We're heading out towards uh, Catalina Island, and we're going to find out how they know where the whales are. See if they have a monitoring device or something, or if uh, they just communicate with other people. I don't know, but uh, we're leaving in 30 minutes, so we're good to go. Hey, everyone. We're out on the Ocean Adventures boat. We're gonna go do some whale watching, and uh, the deck's packed. Look at all these people. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. hi. <laughs> That's good. Okay, so this is gonna be a crazy ride. The, the boat is rocking like crazy. You wanna see how it's rocking? Let me show you. Look out here. Give you an idea. Everybody up front. Yeah. We're good. yeah. It's, it's a nice, nice and choppy. In fact, what do we have, like 20 people on board, right? Dude, we got like 20 people on board? I know, it's like, riding, it's like riding a horse. Okay, so we got 20 people. I guarantee we come back with only 18. I'm just guessing, it's just a guess. It's a real special day, huh? Say again? Today's a real special day. Yeah, yeah, okay. So he's he's he doesn't bounce around. I bounce around. So if he's moving around on the camera, it's because the boat's rocking, baby. Okay, what's your name? Uh, my name's Frank. 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 And Frank, uh, how long you been doing uh, manning the boat? Um, well, this boat is only about four years old. Right. So I've been on this boat for uh, since we've had that, but I've been working for the company since '96. I see. And what's uh what's the uh, average rate of spotting whales on these trips well, on average i would say probably 85 percent 85 percent success yeah that's pretty good because i mean some days they're, they're just there and we know where they're at and some days you know they, they move right they move on you yeah is there anything different about today's whales than maybe a few years ago are they doing different things that well a few years ago up until probably about eight years ago we weren't seeing blue whales here this close to shore. Really? We'd have to go 60, 80, 100 miles out to sea. And we'd, we'd see them when we were out there tuna fishing. Right. And we wouldn't see them all the time. It's just right. like, oh, there's a whale. <clears throat> but um, a shift in the, in the ocean currents, major currents, has brought uh, the whale's food close to the, close to the shore. So what are they eating here on the California coast? They eat krill. The blue whales eat krill. That's all they eat. Krill? It's a small shrimp-like creature. Okay. About as big as your pinky fingernail. And they eat four to eight tons of those a day. Really? Probably 40 million individual krill. Wow. And all that stuff used to be offshore. Okay, so we have krill here? I know, on, yep. Off of Orange County in LA? Oh, yeah. area? There's tons of it. Tons? There used to be 
uh, they weren't allowed to, to hunt krill, to right. gather krill, right? Because uh, there there was, wasn't hardly any. But we had that um, that earthquake in right. Thailand, tsunami right. that changed that, everything. Shipped all the, no. It moved the earth off its axis for a little bit, right? And that shifted all our currents. So all the krill kind of tipped to the end uh -huh. of the pan. So now it's all <laughs> over here. Yep. Okay, so boat's rocking so bad that the door, the things are falling everywhere. That's right. Everything's rocking and moving. We've been, how long have we been doing this for an hour? Half hour? Maybe an hour? Yeah. Good thing I didn't eat a heavy breakfast. The whales are hiding on us. They're, they've gone deep. Right. I, I think if we threw something over like a Jonah. Uh, huh? Is anybody named Jonah? No, no, no Jonas. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, these doors are going to shatter in a minute. He doesn't have all the Oh, there he goes. He's going to put a thing in there, so. Prevents him from uh, smashing. Okay, so, so far, we ain't seen squat. I'm wondering if it's going to be a bust. We've been thrown around on this boat for an hour and a half. Now my head's spinning like I've been on a roller coaster for who knows how long. But uh, we ain't seen anything yet. But uh, but water and some Dr. Pepper in here. So there's the uh, captain looking around right now, trying to find something for us. As you can see, he he's got a bird's eye view up there, and uh, he ain't looking too too excited. But uh, he's calling around to the other boats, seeing if they're spotting anything. Crazy. Okay, so I'm just showing you what I'm seeing. We're cruising the coast looking for whales. And we ain't seeing anything. Oh wait, there's some water. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I'm such Man. Come on, whale. Come on, whaley, 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 whaley. It's a two-hour trip. And the boat just keeps swaying. And there's still no whales. Other than that, oh, I'm hanging over the edge. Look at this, I'm hanging over the edge. Screw this. Let's go get some, uh... oh no, no, you're dangerous. You don't get to hold my camera. <laughs> I don't have insurance. <laughs> Lou's trying to hold my camera. He's throwing his camera overboard. He went under the, I'll show you the footage. It's crazy, he went below deck. He don't care, he's got this insurance. Then if it falls in the ocean, it's gotta be Pacific, I guess falls in the ocean and you know hits a mermaid he gets a brand new one I don't know so anyway so I'm out here thinking about going back if we don't have any whales we're gonna go do a food review over at the seafood restaurant I'm gonna get some clam chowder and some fish and chips see That's a disappointed people okay this is what people kind of wondering why they came out here other than it's an absolutely beautiful day and now we're finally calmed down a little bit Hey everybody, okay, so over there you can see that's Dana Point, that whole point that comes out, and there's a house on top, and I'm guessing that's Dana's house, I don't know. Okay, so we're we're back, we didn't see anything. I'm so sorry. You know, I'm gonna stick to just eating fish and not looking for it. Uh, see, so Shark Week wasn't so bad because I made a shark dish, but let's do this. We're not gonna finish this video off like this, not on a failure. We're gonna have a success. Where are we going? Over there. We're going over there. <laughs> We're going to show you some food right now. I'm going to try and find some clam chowder, something good to eat. You know me. It's all about the food. So come on. We're not done yet. Okay, so we're here at John's Fish Market. Yeah, you're not feeling it, are you? Where you All right, John's Fish Market. Let's see what they got in here. I'm going to catch these fish chips. They come out. Watch this. Here it comes. You ready to see the fish and chips? Fish and chips. They look nice. They look really good. And they're coming out, and I'm going to catch them on film right here. Look at that. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Okay, well, I can say this, that we spotted a shark, okay? So we may not have seen a whale today, but the shark's there right behind you. It's a big shark, too. Alright, so what did you order again? Clam strips and um, 
fish and chips. And you're a big connoisseur of clam strips. Uh, I live for clam strips. Where, wherever I go that a place that has them, love them from Ipswich. Uh, I love Boston clams. All right, so we'll find out, and you'll, and you'll be honest, you'll let us know if they're not the best. Yeah, we'll see. Or, or if they're spot on. Hey, if they're good, they're good. If they're not, pretty smart. Yeah, okay, so so to make up for no whales, I'm spotting some fish and some fries. We're doing fish and chips. Look how beautiful that is. Look how big those pieces are. Everything breaded in house, huh? Is that what they said? Oh, yeah. Breaded right here. You also get the coleslaw. What was this, like seven and change, eight and change? Something like that. Nice big pile. And then we went to the clam chowder. I'll let you know how that is. And then. My buddy Lou is racking up strips. what? What is that? Mm, clam strips. Nice. Except these are just these. These are just uh, uh, probably some came out of Oregon. Uh, the clams you get from the East Coast have bellies on them. Right. You know the Ipswich clams. Huh. But these would be good. These would be good. Well, we'll find out. And then you also got the fish and chips. Oh uh, yeah! Look at how gorgeous that is. Look how big that is. How many pieces did you get? Is that like four. Yeah, four Dude. pieces. That's incredible. That's huge. All right, buddy. You ready? Oh, I can't Go. wait. I'm dying for this. So we're doing the clam clam strip first. And once again. A little chewy. A little chewy. This clam, the, the strip is made from a neck. You can tell. Uh-huh. Because it's chewy. It's a nice thing about bellies is when you have a clam with the belly. It's more it, tender. Right, right. But uh, these are good. It's Kind of standard, yeah. It's kind of generic. Yeah. And and it was a little pricey. It was like eight fifty for those. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Yeah, but I mean that's you know when you're talking yes. seafood. All right, what's that? Ah oh, man, I love a good breaded fish. Mostly have it grilled. <laughs> you're hanging on. I'm totally getting my mouth oh, watering. Mmm. Mmm. This is good. You got a nice breading. Not, not beer battered or anything, but it's nicely battered, and the cod is flaky. I like it. I awesome. Like it. Now I'm going to try. My biggest pet peeve with clam chowder is too much potatoes, not enough clams. There has to be a balance. I get it. I'm just getting potatoes. Hold on a minute. Let me try one more. Yeah, every bite's potatoes. Mm. Not happy. I'll deal with that later. All right. Let's try the fish and chip. Look at how big this piece is. I don't even know what kind of fish you call that. It's an angle fish. Is it? <laughs> All right, and I'm a big tartar sauce fan, so let me get a let's get a shot of this. Here we go. Mm. All right, this is out of the park. Their tartar sauce is really, really light. Not heavy. The fish is flaky. The, cru the uh, batter is perfect. Food's good here at Dana Point. It's worth it. Uh, everything's fresh here. The fish is amazing. The whale watching, they give us uh, another free ride to go back another day. Thank you, Dana Point. Thank you, Port Fiesta. It was an amazing mission. It was a beautiful adventure. Even though we didn't see whales, it was great to be on the water. Um, and I'm back in the studio tomorrow. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care.